I'm up bright and early this morning and off on another fact-finding field trip. I'm heading for the mountains above Yokosuka. For there, among the peaks and plateaus that form the highest part of the Miura Peninsula, lies the domains of the first Miura clan at Kinugasa. I'm looking for Kinugasa Castle today, or what's left of it. Well, here we go. The Miura clan entered their stronghold at Kinugasa in 1062 and held on to it for 200 years. The occasional solitary foundation stone to hint at the fact that there was once a castle here. Kinugasa Castle, the first stronghold of the Miura, lies in ruins now and has done for centuries. But what became of that first Miura clan? Perhaps the answer lies just to the north of here in Kamakura, the capital of medieval Japan. Kamakura was the first capital of the shoguns and it's here in Kamakura that the first Miura clan, loyal allies of those shoguns, are buried. Raikoji Temple, it took me ages to find it, it's absolutely tiny. The tomb of Miura Yoshiaki and the Miura clan. In 1194, two years after the establishment of the Kamakura Shogunate, Minamoto Yoritomo built a temple to mourn his loyal vassal, Miura Yoshiaki, who bravely fought and was killed in the First War. Miura Yoshiaki was the lord of the region of Miura Peninsula, where Kamakura is situated. The temple looks like the Miura family's private cemetery, because it has more than a hundred stone tower tombs of all the family members and a large stone five-storied pagoda as a tomb for Miura Yoshiaki himself. This first Miura clan, loyal as they were to the Minamoto shoguns, came under attack after the Minamoto family died out. I'm here today at the tomb of the first ruling shogun Yoritomo and of course I'll pay my respects. But the main reason I'm here today is to visit the site of the fall and the final resting place of his allies and loyal servants, the first Miura clan. So that first Miura family whose tombs are at Raikoji Temple fought alongside the Minamoto as loyal allies helping the Minamoto secure the Shogunate and rule Japan from here, Kamakura.
but the very next generation of Miura were not to be so fortunate. I know it's around here somewhere. There are graves of other notable figures of the age, but uh, I can't see a sign for the grave of the Miura clan because their demise was rather unceremonious. I'll have a look up here. Okay, another sign, but still no information about the tombs of the Miura. Information about a temple that was once here, which is since long gone. And that temple's demise is connected to the passing of the first Miura family. Okay. This humble tomb in a grotto, a grave in a cave. What people in the Kamakura period called a Yagura is the site of the fall and the final resting place of the first Miura clan. But as the Minamoto family, the first shoguns died out, another samurai family, the Hojo, stepped into the power vacuum and took control. Doing so meant eliminating any possible rivals, in this case the Miura. The ensuing siege was so ruinous that the temple here was destroyed, the Miura wiped out and the Hojo leader Tokiyori so traumatised by the carnage that he had wrought that in desperation he called upon Japan's most revered monk to come and pray for his tortured soul and to calm the spirits of the murdered Miura. しかし北条そなたに聞きたいことがあってな。悟りとは何じゃ。幸い今宵は満月。時折殿。
見事切ったぞ道元もう一度ご覧くださいたとえ雲が月を覆うともあるいは天空からその姿を隠すとも月はないと言ってはなりませぬわけもわからぬ問答でこの時折の苦悩は消えぬ真の苦しみ悲しみ恨みなのですその苦悩を全て受け入れるのですしかし己の全てを捨てなければ受け入れることはできず苦悩が去ることもありませんあなたが右手に権力を握ったその時あなたは左手に苦しみを握ったのです In the end, unlike many Japanese castles, Kinugasa didn't fall. It was merely abandoned, as there were no Miura left to live there after their massacre on a Kamakura hillside overlooking the Pacific and the peninsula they had ruled for two centuries. The summer grass is all that's left of warriors' dreams. <laughs>